Okay, so for winterization, oops, you have a little switch on the back of the actuator here with three positions. The top position is on two, the middle position is off, and the bottom position is on one. Uh, normally when you're using the system you want to have that switch in on two, but when you're winterizing um, you can get this handle uh, actuator knob moving. Uh, so you can put the controller up to solar test to get it moving and then once you see that at a 45 degree angle, the handle at a 45 degree angle there, put the switch here to the middle position which is off and just leave it there all winter and what that is is it opens up this pathway, it opens up this pathway and it lets all the water from the roof drain down back to your pump and filter. Um, you want to do this once your pump is already turned off and, and drained and everything. And then the other thing you need to do for winterizing is there is a drain just above your upper balcony. Can't really see it due to the reflection on the glass there. But if I zoom in, oh, I can't zoom in any further. But there is a little red handle drain right above, uh, that, that, that's going right into your eaves trough there above uh, your upper balcony. You just have to open up that drain at the end of the year once your pump is turned off and let that all drain out. I would suggest leaving it open all winter in case there's any residual water stuck in there. And then just make sure you close that before you start up the system again in the new year. That's all you really have to worry about for winterization.